Hi guys, it's Mary Ellen. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks for stopping by. Today's video is really exciting for me and it's one that I know you've been waiting for for a while. It is the first in my three-part video series on my basement renovation, including my new craft room. So if you're interested in seeing my basement process, keep watching. Okay, so first off, I just wanna thank you for being so patient. I know it's been a long, long time since I said I was gonna do this, but these types of videos are completely new to me. Since I'm not used to doing like these vlog type videos, they're taking a really long time for me to like make and edit, but this is the first one. So I'm gonna have three videos. This one is gonna show the basement construction from like unfinished, dirty basement, to like beautiful finished basement, including this new craft room. The second video is gonna be all about how I went about choosing all of the storage products and other products that went into this room. And then the final video is going to be like the full reveal of the whole craft room and how it's like completely finished and decorated and all of that. First up, construction. Let's rewind time a little bit and go back to December of last year. So I'm just going to take you down the basement and show you the before. And it's really just a basement. That is where our bathroom is going to go. Over here, there's gonna be a closet with a cat litter area. This is going to be like a family room area. And back there is going to be where we have our new TV, some couches, that type of thing. This over here is going to stay the storage area. We have this whole area for storage and it's pretty big. So we're just leaving it as storage. And then this, you guys, this is going to be my new office back here. I think there's gonna be built-in bookshelves on that wall. And then over there is going to be a walk-in closet. This window is gonna become an egress window. Down here is the sump pump and they're gonna put like a, a little bench over top so that, they, that we can access the sump pump, but also it's going to be where I take my photos. And I know it seems dark down here, but that light is actually pretty good most of the day for photo taking. So I hope it's gonna work, fingers crossed. That is probably gonna be my desk. It will probably wrap around here. It's a full on unfinished basement. I cannot wait to show you and I cannot wait to find out how it turns out. Construction starts tomorrow. Okay, it's been one week since they started. I just wanna show you the progress so far that they've made in a week. So now when you come down the stairs, they cut a half wall here. So it looks so much more open. I really like that. This is our bathroom. Um, that's our shower over there. The vanity is gonna go next to it, toilet over there and a closet there. Okay, and this is where the wall, it's gonna be like a diagonal wall, right? And then here's what they did so far over here in the family room area. They framed it out. And then this is my office. It's full of wood right now. <laughs> this wall here is gonna continue over to the other side. Now it was decision time. One of the hardest things to do when you're starting a project like this is making these big decisions, things that are gonna go in your room that you really can't take out later. And it's hard for me because I'm a little bit of a perfectionist. Making these decisions took a really long time and lots and lots of searching online. One of the first decisions I had to make was the vanity. We looked at so many vanities. I finally chose this one from Wayfair. I was trying for like a soothing vibe in the bathroom, blue walls, white vanity, white oversized subway tiles, some black accents. And then I decided to go with chrome fixtures, which I know is not super trendy right now, but it's really, really classic and it just felt right for the space. I must have looked at light fixtures for like 24 hours straight. 
<laughs> I finally decided on this one from Birch Lane. It actually has a really cool retro vibe in my opinion and I thought it made sense for the bathroom. The flooring we wanted was called Sundance Hickory. It was out of stock everywhere so we had to go for a plan B which was this Burbank Oak from Smartcore Pro. I think it was at Lowe's and we love it. Choosing paint colors is really hard for me as well. I don't know about you, but it takes me such a long time to decide on a paint color because it's an important part of the room. I went with Sherwin-Williams Agreeable Gray for the main part of the basement because it was very neutral and I thought I'd be adding more color in in other ways. The bathroom, we chose Krypton, which is a kind of blue gray and it just, I thought would feel nice and crisp. And then my office, we were going with Benjamin Moore Proposal, which is the color that was in my kitchen in my previous home. And that is a pink. So I know that's a risk, but it just felt right for a craft room. I think probably the hardest decision I had to make was my built-in bookshelves. I had to plan out exactly how I would like them. I looked on YouTube for ideas. I found Paul Tran DIY and he made these really simple, modern, clean looking built-ins and that's sort of my vibe. I love a real clean and minimal look. So I did send this video to my contractor. walls. They had to like bring this wall out and then it juts back in over here so it gets bigger on this side. Our dartboard's going to go there. That's where our TV is going to go, our couches and stuff. And then this is my office. Are you ready? So I know it doesn't look like much, but this is the door. It's going to be a big door so we can get stuff in and out. So we hit our first snafu. Over there is where the built-ins were supposed to go. Um, they were going to span the whole wall, but inside here is a pipe, so we can't go up the ceiling all the way across. The contractor asked me, do I want these to go to the ceiling and then built a separate shelf unit over here, and I said, okay, that's fine. But then I realized there's this beam there. The built-ins would go up to the ceiling, but it would be like behind that beam and I don't like how that would look. So I'm gonna ask him to take the ceiling down. I know that will make them shorter, but I feel like that's gonna be a more cohesive look. And over here is gonna be floor to ceiling shelves. I wish that that beam wasn't there, but when you're working with basements, you gotta take what you can get. Well, the bathroom's coming along. That's the shower right there. That's what the bathroom looks like. And then over here in my studio, <laughs> we lost a week because of COVID um, because Mike and I had COVID, so they couldn't come here for like a week, but we're back in action. We have all of the electrical in now. It takes a while for them to do all the wiring and um, we'll see how it goes this week. doing the shower. It looks really good. Everything's pretty straight. I think they're doing a good job. And then the vanity is going to go there. This is a linen closet here. There is actually a light, which is nice. And it's a really big closet, which is good. Glass and then gla a glass door on the other side. There's the toilet and that room back there is just to access the plumbing. So there's going to be a door there. This is our closet where we're going to keep the cat litter. We're having them put um, a light and electrical in there. They just put up the insulation. These little things are heaters right here because we need extra heaters down here. So this is where my built-ins are gonna go. I made him put two lights over there. Not made him, I asked him to. And then I have them on different switches than the rest of the room. Over here is a walk-in closet. That's where I'm gonna keep my, um, my big things like my big lights, my tripods, that type of thing. And then we're gonna have some storage shelves in there. This over here is, <laughs> this area has been really driving me crazy. I'll talk about that in a second. And then this is where 
my desk is gonna go against that wall. There's gonna be a corner desk here. And then in the middle, kind of where this is, is gonna be my filming desk. I even had him put an outlet up here so that in case um, I needed it, I can drop a cord from there when I'm filming. I don't know that I'll need it, but I just like having it there in case. Over here, I wish this wasn't so high. They had to make it that high to access the sump pump. I don't love it. This is going to be the place where I take my photos, which is perfect because it's by the window. I'm kind of looking at this as like a kindergarten room, how you have different stations. So this is like photo taking. I'm gonna have shelves here with props, probably poster boards here too. So it's all kind of contained for me over here when I go to take my photos. So it's kind of this weird area over here with this platform. That's how it goes. Until it's done, it's really, really hard for me to figure out where everything's gonna go. I have some ideas, but nothing's written in stone until there's actually walls in here. The construction is, you know, looking pretty good and straight. So I will update you soon again. Well, we got drywall today. They put it all up in one day, it's not sanded or anything like that. But let's see what it looks like. I have not been down here yet. Wow, it really makes a difference in how the basement looks because now I know what it's actually gonna look like. All right, so this is our bathroom. This is our family room area. Let's check out my office. Wow. Look at this, it looks like a real room, you guys. I'm so excited. Um, this over here is still weird, but <laughs> we're living with it. It actually feels like a room. There's my closet. Yeah. And that's where my desk is gonna go over there. I thought it's gonna look bigger in here, but it actually looks a little bit smaller. This is really, really cool. Okay, so they told me they painted my office. So I'm really nervous. Um, the floors are this color because they were trying to keep the drywall dust down. So basically what they did was use like every available color that we had of extra paint and just painted the floor after the drywall was sanded and it really keeps it down. There really isn't that much like drywall dust upstairs, which is good. Okay, I'm really nervous to see my office. I painted it the same color as my old kitchen in my other house, which is Benjamin Moore Proposal. It's like a blush pink. I think it's perfect for my office. So let's go check it out. It looks pink, all right. <laughs> wow. It looks so different in this space than it did in my kitchen. It is so weird. And I guess because there's not a lot of light in here, but I think it's gonna look really good. I'm probably gonna put Happy Planner wallpaper over on that wall over there. So it's not gonna be all pink, but it's gonna be pretty pink, you guys. It's gonna be <laughs> pink. However, there's gonna be stuff hung all over the walls as well. So I don't know. We'll see how it turns out. Okay, the floors are getting put in. Actually, it looks nice here, right? And you know, it looks good. But then when it's in a big area, very much like, repeating patterns so uh, this particular board all i see when i look at this floor is boop 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 now that being said i think once we get furniture in here and um you know stuff on the walls and a rug i think we're going to be okay when i look down it looks really nice it's just the long expanse of floor with those patterns it's really getting to me so the color we chose for the walls is called agreeable gray by sherwin williams I am not sure about this color. I feel like a lighter color or something with more color would have been better, but I'm gonna wait and see because once they put the baseboards in and the doors and everything and put a second coat on the walls, I think maybe it will all come together. I just wanted something neutral so that we could add our own colors into it. Plus Mike has an Eagles dartboard that's like bright green and I couldn't really, I wanted to paint this room green, but I couldn't really because of that. Here we are, it's looking more and more real. So we have some doors, we have trim. Here is my bathroom. There's a little bit of a problem. I chose the wrong 
vanity. It's like a creamy white. The shower is a stark white and the builder had pushed this vanity up against that and it looked horrible because, you know, it's supposed to be like a freestanding piece of furniture, right? So it does look a little bit better. I do really love my light fixture. Today they built this little cat hole in the wall for Wallace and Almond. Our litter box is going to go there. It turns around in the back. Well, why not? I'll get in here and show you comes around back here and they can enter. We might have a little bed in here for them or something and maybe store some litter. And then they come around and the litter box is gonna be here. We'll have a vacuum in here and stuff. I think it's gonna be really cool and interesting. I might paint something on the wall over there, like, you know, no dogs allowed, Mike said. <laughs> we are doing a black accent wall on the back that's gonna have like our TV. That is Iron Ore by Sharon Williams. My <laughs> office is looking extra pink i like it but it's so much pink that i i don't know as soon as they put those shelves in there it started looking like a baby's room to me and i'm not digging that <laughs> look you know it's coming along um it's been a little bit of a stressor we've had some problems for example we had three sets of cabinets shipped the first two were damaged. On the third trip, this one was damaged and I didn't get drawers and not happy about that. I really wanted drawers. These are fake. I gave up because I was stressed and I was just like, all right, we'll just do it. They are bigger cabinets though underneath. So I'll be able to store some things. Not ideal, but it is what it is. Okay, so it looks like I am looking at paint colors yet again. I really do want my office to be pink, but honestly, it's just so pink that I don't know that I can do it. <sighs> I'm looking for something a little more neutral and I think I'm gonna be going to the paint store. They are actually doing a second coat tomorrow, so I need to um, handle this. Okay, so I ran to the paint store and got five different samples of Benjamin Moore pinks. I chose tissue pink, even though it looks almost exactly like the wall color, there was just a subtle, subtle difference. They're building my built-in shelves and it's just been one thing after another, you guys. Like, it's been like a struggle. These are the size of the shelves I'm gonna get. You know, hopefully it will all turn out the way I hope it will turn out, we'll see. We found out that we could change the um, the color of the recessed lights. It's like a, there's a switch on it. You can change it from like cool to warm. So we put it on a more a warmer tone and I like it so much better in here now. It really changes the color of the room. It changes the color of the floors. It just has a more homey vibe. Okay, so here's a new color. Mike thinks it, it's peach and yeah, okay. It does have a peach vibe, I will say. However, if you look at it in a different way, it like looks like a muted pink. I think the built-ins are looking good. I wanted to get a wood top and I couldn't, but they're still gonna put hardware in there and, and you know finish painting and stuff, but I think it looks good. So I'm feeling a little bit better about things. I'll show you the bathroom. They put the glass in today and that was some very expensive glass. I don't know if you guys know how expensive glass is, but man, oh man, it's nice glass, but Oh, $2,400 for that glass. I know. Like, what? Okay, are you ready for the final reveal? It looks so good, you guys. It looks so good. I'm so excited. So, the flooring is so much better. I love the floors. It was just like, at first, it was so busy, you know? Um, so you come down here. Obviously, we don't have anything in here yet. We definitely have to furnish. This is the little walkway that goes down to the family room area. And here's the bathroom. I have to get a new mirror because the one that um, we got did not fit once he moved the vanity over. I like it so much more now that the shower's in. That top is definitely more like this color so it kind of works right and the shower is so pretty we have a little closet over here that's just currently just empty but we have a light in it so that's good and we'll probably you know we're gonna put shelving in there of some sort and we go to the family room i love the black wall i think it looks really classy 
and I can't wait to furnish this. So here's my office, you guys. It is beautiful. I love it so much. I am so glad that I changed this paint color. I was a little afraid of it being peach, like too peach, but it turns out it is gorgeous. Um, it's a very soft peachy pink and it just feels more sophisticated and really pretty. So the builder told us we cannot put anything on the shelves for a month. I couldn't believe it. I was not ready for that because I want to set up this room, so I don't know what to do about that, but I guess I should probably listen to him and not do it so that, you know, the paint has time to cure. So there's the closet, and there's that area over there that's been kind of that eyesore, but it is going to be a good photo area. You can see I do have light coming in from that window, so I think that will help. And um, I'm not supposed to put anything on there either for a month, which is very strange. So yeah, like look, it's just big and beautiful and I've never had a dedicated craft room before of my own. So this is so exciting for me and I cannot wait to get started in putting everything down here. Um, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me on that journey as well. So make sure that you keep watching this series. I'm really excited for it. I hope you guys are too. And I will see you guys soon.